welcome back to the continued moving vlogs. I've just decided that I'm going to continue calling this vlogging series the moving vlogs even though we have already moved in and we've been here a few days because obviously I'm conscious the vlogs that were moving vlogs were the sort of draw up to moving but if it's if it's cool with you guys I'm just going to continue it through because it makes sense too because it's all about house and improvements. So today I thought we could just hang out. I got a few exciting things happening over the next couple of days. We've had a lot of home updates that we've managed to crack out um, the last few days. So when you're watching this, today is Tuesday the 23rd of February. We moved in on the 19th and of course you're going to have to excuse that this is kind of what I'm looking like all the time now. So last night I did crack on with a couple of little things that I filmed for you. So I painted my vase, which is looking like this. I wanna show you. So if you did watch my Ikea haul, I painted this vase here. So it was actually a pink, and now I've painted it this lovely color, which is called oat cake. Um, and yeah, here is the time lapse of me doing that. last night um got my new piece of furniture which was this here this is from Denelm um and I can't remember the brand of it but if it was available if it's still available I will link it in the description below it was obviously reduced from um 119 pounds which is awesome and I'm so happy with it so yeah cue that time lapse or cue last night of me putting that up <laughs> So we're jumping back to the night before what you have just seen. Um, so the only reason I'm doing that is because I want to show you that I'm setting up this new piece of furniture we got. This is from Denelm and it is a mirrored tray. I am planning on putting this in the front room for now and then eventually we can have it in the dining room. As you can see it was on very good sale and this is from Denelm. So I will link it down below if it's still available. So let's see what this mirrored... what it looks like and yeah this is what it looks like today obviously it looks the same as I showed you last night but I just really like this table I think it's going to be absolutely perfect probably more so for the dining room um, to have as like like I said with some nice spirits on it but for now I've just chucked my new white company brochure I actually need to read this this is the latest one so I need to browse some home inspiration and then there's just my white company fireside candle obviously my pampas grass I am absolutely obsessed with this guys completely and utterly obsessed I love it I got this off eBay I couldn't have asked for nicer pampas grass honestly if I still have the active link that I used I will leave it down below I think this bunch was under 10 pounds and you just can't go wrong the vase is from Asda oh, not Asda Ikea I don't know where I got Asda from and I just really like this little setup for now I've still got my little ottoman storage thing over here and then our sofa I need to sort this out so obviously we we're sitting there last night and uh, we've managed to order the two-seater which is very exciting because it's still out of stock at Bristol so we just thought we're going to bite the bullet and just pay Ikea to deliver it because Ikea will deliver it but it's £40 so we've managed to order the two-seater in this colour it'll be arriving tomorrow and it's going to be going there so I just really think that'll make the front room because when we have people over you can like it's just it's awkward like you've got to sit on the floor to talk to people so that just makes it more of a living room so you can be a bit more sociable. And then the next big update is our beautiful light. How amazing 
is this light. If you follow me on my home Instagram, Bella Bambina Home, I did link the brand. It's called Artica, and this was des actually designed in Montreal. It's so, so stunning. It's actually a piece of art. It does dim as well. For now, we don't have a dimmer switch, so we're gonna change that when we do all the electrics to change all to chrome sockets. But then also the other update is the dining room. We did put up the chandelier and we got the lights yesterday because we put up the chandelier and then we couldn't receive, we didn't receive the lights. So we had to Amazon Prime them. I'm gonna go sort my face out in a minute, so <laughs> excuse me. So this is the chandelier. I love it so, so much. It's very modern considering chandeliers obviously are a little bit more like dated so this is extremely extremely modern and then this is our dining set <laughs> and legs without tabletop tabletop is coming tomorrow i believe because it was smashed in transit so they need to replace it for us is it but these are our beautiful dining chairs and table set this is from wayfair um, i will link it in this video but again if you want to see the full thing i will show it to you in due course it may even be in this vlog actually because if it arrives tomorrow but yeah, I took a clip last night of what this looks like when um, the lights are on at night. So this is what it looks like and I just absolutely love it. Again, this is a dimmable light. It's from Dunelm um, and we will get a dimmer switch for it eventually when we can. I am just going to go head upstairs, do some really boring stuff like sort out our bathroom, our ensuite. We just need to like, because I haven't got like any products I actually need in there and neither has Andy. So I need to just make it a little bit more tidy. I won't be able to do it perfect yet because we need to buy a shower caddy, we need to do all of that stuff and we can't do that like on the spot. So I'm going to go do that today. I'm going to sort out my face and then we have our bedroom furniture being delivered today which I'm very excited about. It's so stunning. It's from a place called Niches and it's pure mirrored furniture. We bought a chest of drawers and two bedside tables and then upstairs we also have new lamps that we picked up from Costco which one on the pole on my Bella Bambina home by a lot. So we ended up going back and buying them. So thank you so much if you voted in that poll. I am definitely doing a lot more like home items of like, do you like this or not over on my, um, on my Instagram. So if you'd like to get involved in helping me furnish this house, then do go and head over there. Ugh, I started unpacking my toiletries and I wish I never started now. There's just so much. This is Andy's, to be fair, and a lot of it is backups. Um, there's odd bits of mine in there, but... Oh, one of my tan erasers, I think it was the stupid Bondi Sands tan eraser, leaked, and the whole thing stinks of, like, peroxide now. I'm doing this now, trying to put some stuff in here that'll be for our bathroom that is, like, stuff we actually need access to, and then there's gonna be, like, backups. Like, these are all my backups which need to go in my beauty room, and then like the tanning stuff and the makeup sprays can go in my beauty room. The, um, what's it called, sun care can go away, so we don't need that right now. There's like travel size stuff. This can, a lot of it can go in the family bathroom, but I don't actually have any storage for there yet, so I must go get another set of these, because they're really good. They're from Wilkinson's, and they're 20 quid, but they're really, really good. I don't think they do this one anymore, which is better because it's waterproof, but they do do the wicker one, um, which looks like that wicker up there. But for now, this will do for in here until I can go grab something for there. I love this. Anywhere I set up the camera, it just looks nice. Yeah. It is a little bit later now. It is currently 12.14. I have just been down to the shop to go and refill our milk because I go and get it fresh, which is really nice. Although we're getting through this milk very quickly, so I might have to start buying two. But it's literally so cute. Our house is just like a walk from the shop when you go and refill the milk in your little glass bottle. It's just the little things in life. I, I'd like to think I will continue doing this, but we'll see. So I'm really excited it happened. Our dining table glass was delivered today, which is great because it's one day earlier than I thought. And put up the dining table and it literally looks so cool. So I'm gonna show you this now. Uh, the room is still too empty. Obviously we still got to like fill it and accessorize it. It's just the bare basics of a light, curtains and a table now, but at least we've got somewhere to eat. I do need to get placemats as well because it is a glass table, so it, if we put plates down, it's gonna be very loud. It is so beautiful. I'm gonna come around the other side because it would make more sense to show you like that. So obviously it's this beautiful elephant gray and this super thick glass top. And then these are the tulips my nan gave us yesterday as a housewarming gift. And yeah, it looks beautiful. I love how even though this is such a big room, obviously, we're still keeping so much space because the glass table is obviously the illusion of space. So 
I think it looks amazing with the chrome legs matching the chrome chandelier. So now we are just waiting on our furniture delivery for the bedroom. I just had a call and he's just trying to find the place. The thing is, it's been so annoying. Anybody else who's moved into a new build will, will, feel, will feel the pain here. But like all the deliveries and like when you're typing in things online, trying to change your address, your postcode doesn't exist because it's so new and it's obviously not been registered fully with Lang Registry. So I'm getting phone calls, people are like, where are you? We don't know where your postcode isn't coming up. And I'm like, right, if you look at this place, we're like down the road from there. I've just finished a coffee and now I am going to, I've put another layer of paint on my vase. It's looking good. It's looking nice and rustic. We've had our aerial delivered today as well. So we can hopefully get that up at some point so we can have our free view and our TV. At the, we're fine at the moment because we've got Netflix and catch up and things. Oh, this might be our furniture. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's our, it's our bedroom furniture. And the best thing about it is it's not flat pack. It's actual furniture. So we don't have to build it. So pros and cons. Pros, we don't have to build it. We can just pop it up. Cons, it's going to be so heavy and not fun to get up the stairs. I need to actually take my hoover up now and go and sort out the floor. Give it a nice vacuum before they come. scenario what we'll do might make more sense because this is so bulky to just put an extension lead and just have it sit on top for now yeah, yeah that needs to come out is what i was saying that's the bulky thing yeah yeah because i say we your mirrored furniture was heavier than this without the drawers in it yeah yours was bulky pop it down on the slide oh that looks like it's gonna be perfect I'll shuffle right in that corner I think yeah because then it's you've got that exposed anyway that um plug you're all good right so you're going against the wall not yeah, central I think so what do you think central maybe central central I think actually no is that central yeah I think and it just hides the plug actually so oh that's really nice do you see what I mean about the height when he took out of the box I was like looks a bit short but when yeah. it's here it looks correct so the bedroom furniture has just arrived. This is the chest of drawers. That's the bedside table one and bedside table two. And they literally are perfect. Obviously the strings are not gonna be there. The knobs are inside, but we have to wait till it climatizes and then we can switch these around. There's actually loads of drawer space. That's really good. Cause a lot of them kind of do a stupid design where they go in and there's not much room. But yeah, this is awesome. I love this. So like I said, it's from a company called Niches. I will link it down below as well. Any furniture or things I mention, I'll always try and link. And if I don't, just remind me in the comments and I will let you know where they're from. This thing is honestly amazing. So you've got your handle up here. You press it once, it turns it on on the normal setting and two is per turbo. So one, you've got the little lights and two. It tells you the settings, and honestly, it is so fast. Literally, this old Technic vacuum, I love. It comes with lots of different heads as well. This one is just like the regular brush head. To be honest, it's probably not the best for the hard floor. I'm sure there's a hard floor one, but obviously we've been rushing a lot. And the top is so easy. You just unclip, clip, and chuck it away. Um, and then the charger is at the top, and it does wall mount. So we've got our wall mount already on the wall in our utility cupboard in the bathroom so we can just hang that up and we've literally used this so much since moving in i can't tell you what a world of a difference a, a cordless vacuum cleaner makes your life because me and andy have always been used to corded honestly life changing so yeah massive thank you to altenic for sending this over it's gifted it's not sponsored so it's just a genuine however i feel about it but thank you so much and i will leave the link to this down below so it's all nice and clean and vacuumed, considering how much mess was in here. Andy's just putting it back on charge now. He vacuumed upstairs, how was it? It's good. Did I like, job? I like this, where's the light? So all you do is pop the little cord in there and it does hook onto the wall, but at the moment our plug is over here and where it hooks is over here. So we're actually getting an extension that's gonna run around the door, but it'll be super easy just to pop back in. Let's shut mm -hmm. you away, bye! bye. <laughs> But yeah, where are we go? Oh, look what you've done, see? You always messing about. Ay, ay, ay. Right. Turn the light off. <laughs>
Right, that's, that done. that's that done. I'm just having my lunch, which is a leek and sage sausage roll from the farm shop. And we'll have a nice cup in a minute. I think I showed you guys our kettle. It's so cool. Can you turn it on? The little lights turn on. Um, and yeah, this is from the range. Again, I will link it down below. And the scruffiness keeps happening. A bit later now, more sorting has happened. More has been done. My nan has been an absolute legend and uh, dropped us off a pasta bake and not just a pasta bake, a flipping massive pasta bake and coleslaw. What I'm gonna do now is I finally can pull this stuff off the floor and then I'm gonna give the floor a nice wash, hopefully. I've got this thing, which actually I forgot to show in my B&M haul. Is it from B&M? Yeah, it was. Is this here? Um, but I showed it in a vlog, the microfiber spray mop, um, and it was seven quid, so I'm gonna try and use this, and then you, it's velcroed, the microfiber cloth on the end, so you can just chuck it in the washing machine after. I'm just gonna pull up this flooring stuff, because I'm sure that'll be extremely satisfying for you to watch that. Oh, that is satisfying. show you guys this is this is so fun what I did so I tried to sort our under the stairs cupboard although it still looks very messy it's it's not I know where everything is thankfully but I'll find some more storage solution but how cool is this thing so I did make a use of my little swirly thing so this is my kitchen cleaning stuff so I can just go oh bit of star drops four in one pine disinfectant oh nope now we need some pink stuff oh and now let's clean the glass table Nice and easy. I love this. Brilliant. So yeah, this was a really good thing. Built-in water tank, street flea cleaning, absorbent microfiber head. So let's see how good this works. I'm hoping it will be all right. Stand back a bit. Yeah, okay, so that pops out. Let me pop this back. Oh no, we've got to put the lid on first. Put the lid on first, that'd be a good idea, I think. And then you pop that in there. And that hopefully should spray. I'm gonna give it a quick vacuum first just to make sure there's no bits. By the way, we're using Flash all-purpose cleaner, lavender. So I vacuumed up, but I always seem to find little bits still. But it's the only thing about having very light floor, even though it's hard floor, it needs constant attention. So, give this a, ooh. Give this a whirl. Oh, I'm getting a buzz. Oh, you're saying I'm active for nine hours. Yes, I very much am. A little corn stain here. Let's see how... Oh, that was a good job. <laughs> oh, it smells now. It smells like lavender. Which I guess you'd expect it to, really, wouldn't you? Oh, this is doing a cold hands job. So I've given the tables a little clean. We haven't changed the knobs yet. We'll do that tomorrow. But I'm just setting up the lights now. Everything, when you think you've got rid of all the boxes, more just keep coming. Oh, that is solid marble down there. I can't even tell you. Ooh, heavy. Right. Nice and simple. And we've already got the bulbs. So there we go. Nice easy plug-in and it's a solid heavy marble base and the chrome. Oh, that's one and then here's the other. Oh, they're beautiful. They're really pretty. Just so you know, we are recycling all of our cardboard. 
it goes to the tip to the recycling center. I'm just gonna take this packaging off because it's a blooming nightmare, so I'll be right back. Ping into one side, and you ping it into the other side. Oh, that's tight. And then pop that on. Oh. And then just tighten it back up. And there we go. Oh my goodness, they look great. How amazing does that look? Like I said, ignore the knobs, but I've set it up now. So, oh, it's the lovely stone marble base. The chrome, they are massive. They look brilliant. I love the um, light they make on the wall, the bounce back, it looks awesome. And now I've set it up, so down our side, I've got all of my cables, and Andy has all of his cables. So they're matching, even even matching um, extension cords. Oh, they look brilliant. I love this because this is slightly different and these has got slightly more grey in the marble. These are absolutely amazing. So these are from Bridgeport Designs. Um, I'm not too sure of the name of the actual lamp. I'm not too sure. If I know, I'll put it in the description. But I'll also link these down below um, if I can find them for you. I will try and find them. They look amazing. Like little, it's not little because they're huge, but... We had the furniture delivered today and obviously putting the lamps up and now we've just got extension cords. Like it already feels so much more homely and then obviously now this is crying out for a piece of art and we need to get a really nice light fitting. But we have the TV on the wall and we've got our unit here. I'm gonna, I think tomorrow I'm gonna make it my mission to start putting some stuff away. So I think the plan of action is, of well the plan definitely is that I'm having one side and he's having the other side obviously but I think this sort of drawer set is absolutely perfect for like pants and socks because it's just obviously everyday stuff we're going to need to grab and like I said the drawers inside are actually fairly fairly generous obviously when you buy mirrored furniture you're not buying standard furniture it is a decorative piece so they're they're not the most practical thing in the world, but this is a, is very spacious for mirrored furniture. Absolutely love this. Like I said, I will link this down below. I ended up getting mine as a set. So niches, you can buy the pieces individually, or if you do want to do a set. So obviously we got the two bedside tables. Oh, I love this look. Hi! And we got the chest of drawers. My goodness, the heating's on and it's too hot already. I think this all together was, oh, I can't remember, the link's in the description, but I think it was an amazing price for mirrored furniture because I'll tell you now, I've had mirrored furniture for years and it ain't cheap, but it's a good investment, but be prepared to clean it a lot and also look after it. <laughs> How are we getting on in here? Oh my goody gracious. A mess. So what all of Andy's doing here is that because this room is so empty, when he does his voice recordings, this, they're obviously it's echoing, so we need to insulate it in some way. Insulate? Yeah, insulate it in some way. Acoustically treat. Acoustically treat. So for now, we had a huge sofa doing nothing, so he had the bright idea of grabbing all the cushions. And what are you going to do? Like, do this around the room? No, I'm just going to stack these in the corner, because I think the corner wall's causing me a problem, so I'm just going to put those up in the corner. <laughs> this could actually work as a very good initial setup. Until I get the acoustic treatment, it'll be fine, but it's just, how do I get it stable? I guess that'll do. I guess it's not high enough, though, it's going to be the issue. I don't know. Maybe you get a thicker blanket for that. But hopefully it won't be like this for long. So, I've managed to also clear the hallway. Oh, where are you going? I've cleared the hallway, so it's. I've taken up all of our floor protector now that we've got all of our furniture upstairs after today so it's all super clean and then the stairs as well I've taken off the taken off all the runner from down the stairs and as you've seen I cleaned the floors downstairs and one it smells incredible downstairs because it now smells of lavender and two the floors look gleaming as everybody knows I am enforcing anyway in this house a no shoe rule except for my grandparents and Andy's grandparents because we can't ask them to take off their shoes so you know respect your elders but everybody else is getting these I'm gonna have a basket full of these you can get them on Amazon in fact Andy got me these for Christmas as a bit of a joke because I like disposable slippers but I'm gonna get a nice little like wicker basket put it in the corner where our shoe rack is and whenever people come over they can have their own desi designated that's the right word designated pair of slippers oh look at Moo back there okay so I've been trying to do my office today but unfortunately 
This old girl is not gonna be able to be an external monitor, but I have bought this monitor. So this is a, the same size as this one. It's a 27 inch, but it's just a white plain monitor. I had to pay more because I wanted white, but my issues, I guess. <laughs> so this is the last evening without a sofa here. We just sat down and we're having pasta bake that Nan Lorenza brought over today. And I'm aware that it's a massive portion that we literally haven't ate. Like we, we have a, such a terrible diet while moving. But the thing is, is we're not, like we're not really eating at all. So when we do eat, we have either something small that's bad or like don't eat at all and then have something big in the evening. It's probably bad, I know, but it's what it is. But this has been our set up for the while, for the first while till the TV goes on the wall and we actually accessorize this room. Yay! What do you mean when I'm struggling to eat? You know you make me feel like I'm alive. You